Are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? So, this is a shirt and this is a hat from one of my old teammates, Dustin Brandon, who started a company called Talisman Caps. I'll put all the information in the description, so if you wanna go support him, and I think you should, because his gear is amazing, that would mean a lot to me. Also, it's time for... It's the very curious news from around the globe with the amazing Conradinho. Very curious news item number one. Borussia Dortmund's Mark Bartra breaks his wrist. And thankfully that was the extent of the injuries for the whole team after some asshole threw an explosive at Dortmund's team bus ahead of their Champions League match against Monaco, which got postponed to today. And I just feel like it's too soon because honestly, if I was one of those players, I don't think I'd be able to concentrate when the game kicked off. So in summation, those terrorists for trying to infect the beautiful game with their hate. However, on a positive note, a hat tip to Monaco and Dortmund fans for being so supportive of each other during a difficult time. Upon hearing the news, Monaco fans inside the stadium started chanting Dortmund's name, which was a very cool gesture. And in return, Dortmund fans were opening up their homes to Monaco fans so they could stay the night and see the game the next day. So it's just great to see them turning a negative into a positive. That is what's up. Very curious news item number two, Barcelona. What happened? Four days ago, you knew two hours before your kickoff against Malaga that Real Madrid had dropped points and you would have a chance to go on top of the table in La Liga. And since then, you lost to Malaga two to nothing, so you didn't overtake Madrid. Then you lost Neymar to a red card during that game, so he's gonna miss the next one against Real Sociedad. Then you lost to a fantastic Paulo Dybala in Juventus three to nothing in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals. And Juventus is not PSG, so a miraculous comeback against a very organized Italian team is very unlikely. Then, after further review by the heads of state of La Liga, Neymar got suspended for two additional games because of his behavior towards an assistant referee after he got his red card against Malaga, which means he's gonna miss El Clasico. And then finally, you lost your pants because you just shit in them, which is what happens when you realize you're not gonna win a trophy this season. And no, the Super Copa de España doesn't count. It's like the community shield. Very curious news item number three. Who says good goals don't get scored in America? Watch this. Oklahoma City. That game's in hand the whole time as Harris unveils the flip throw again and fires it into the box. Ball comes down, setting up a bicycle kick, and it's in! Unbelievable from OKC Energy! Fun fact for you, I taught him that. No, not the, the long flip throw because I'm not athletic enough to pull that off. And no, not the bicycle kick because I'm not athletic enough to pull that off. I'm talking about the bad clearance into the middle of the box. And I'm not proud of it. Very curious news item number four, the negativity of Arsenal fans. It's enough and they need to stop. Now I know I jump into the conversation from time to time to bust fangers balls because it's an easy joke. It's low hanging fruit. But if I step back and look at the big picture, you guys are in the Champions League every single season. You get out of the group stages every single season. Most clubs would kill for that opportunity, for that kind of success. And then you're in the conversation to win the league every single year. And even if you don't win it, at least you're part of that conversation. Again, clubs would kill for that type of success and to, to, to be at that elevated level. And then you have arguably some of the world's best players on your team, whether they perform to that level or not is a different conversation. And then you have a competent manager who has a distinct philosophy that has helped make Arsenal one of the most popular clubs in the world. Now with all that being said, is it time for Wenger to go? Probably. But are most of your talented players underperforming which can't all be blamed on Wenger? Yes, 1000%. So to tie this up with a nice little bow, welcome to what most clubs deal with on a regular basis. You're gonna have some down years. So stop your f***ing moaning. All right, that's it. That is all I got for today because I gotta hit the streets for my weekly segment on BN Sports. See you tomorrow. Later.